All right then, so now we've created our schema. We have a book type and a root query, and we can make requests from the front end to get the data. So now I just wanna make it a little bit more complex and introduce another type, and that is gonna be the author type. So first of all, let's create some dummy data for the authors. I've already copied this and I'm gonna paste it in. So just three authors, Patrick Rothfuss, Brandon Sanderson, and Terry Pratchett. They all have a name property, an age, and an ID as well. Now then, we need to create a type first of all for this author, much like we cre uh, created a type for the book right here, we're gonna do the same kind of thing. So instead of me writing it all out again, I'm gonna copy this and paste it down below, and I'm gonna change book to author, and then down below the fields, first of all, the name is gonna be author, then the fields, the ID is still gonna be of type GraphQL ID, the name is still gonna be of type GraphQL string, we don't have a genre uh, property on this author type, instead we have an age property, so let's replace that. And it's not going to be a type GraphQL string this time because it's an integer. So we need to grab a different type up here called GraphQL int. So let's grab that GraphQL int like so. And then down here we can say that the age is of type GraphQL int instead of string. And there we go, that is our author type. So like I said before, we're gonna be doing this kind of thing over and over again, where we're making GraphQL object types, like so, and they're very similar to each other. It's only really the name and the fields that change. And we're also gonna be making multiple root query types. So we have books and we have authors, but at the minute we're only able to query a book. So we need to name another field author so that we can query an author as well. So let's do that. First of all, I'm gonna place a comma after the closing brace for the book and name this root query author. Now then, this is gonna be of type, author type, and then underneath the args that we expect to come along with this query is again gonna be an ID because I need to know which ID, which author ID I need to grab from up here, all right? So the user, when they're making a request or a query, is gonna have to pass through the ID much like they did with the book. So this ID down here is gonna have a type property of graph QL ID again. And then finally, we have the resolve function and inside we take the parent and the args. All right then, so remember, when a user makes a query for an author, they're gonna pass through the ID and that will become attached to the args. So again, we have access to that ID property in here. So then, what we need to do is find the author based on the ID that comes along with the query. So again, we can say return and then underscore dot find. We're using a low dash method here. And then this time, instead of finding inside the books array, we're gonna look inside the authors array because that's what this thing here is called, authors, right? And then inside this authors array, we're gonna look for a book which has an ID property which matches args.id, the ID that comes along with the query. So we're returning that now. So that's all there is to it. We've made a book query right here we've also made an author query and instead of just opening up your curly brace you need a little colon there and that will do so let's save this and i'm going to refresh over here and this time what i'm going to do is first of all click on root query type and you can see now we can query both book and an author so if I click on author, we can see we have access to these properties on an author, the ID, the name, and the age. And if we go to query it, we have to use the keyword author and pass in an ID. So let's do that. Let's, instead of querying a book, query an author. We'll leave the ID as two, that's absolutely fine. We can ask for the name of the author, but we don't have a genre property on an author, but we do have an age property and an ID property. So let's ask for both of those. So click play and we get this author object back. The name is Brandon Sanderson, age 42, ID is two. Awesome. Let's try doing it without a couple of properties. So without the age, that works. 
uh, without the ID rather, and without the age. And that works as well. If we change the ID to three, we get Terry Pratchett. And if we change the ID to one, we get Patrick Rothfuss. All right then, so this is all working. How simple was that? I mean, once we've got the basics down, to create more root queries and more object types is very, very simple indeed. Now remember, we said on this fields property right here that we're going to wrap everything inside a function. Now I said that was because when we have dependencies on one type to another, then GraphQL might not recognize those dependencies because one is defined before the other. So I'm going to explain exactly what that means when we look at type relations in the next tutorial.